trials for you. I mean, from Friday morning to, to Monday right now, how has this whole experience gone for you, would you say? I'd say it's been going like, really well for me. Um, you know, it definitely was more desired in that race for me, but I'm still really happy with how it played out and still going to Paris, so there's still a lot to be happy about as well. And you know, I love the energy with the Olympic trials. It's really unlike any other American race that I feel like I could be a part of, so it's really good. <laughs> Why do you choose to employ that strategy? I think that's uh, the one I felt most comfortable doing. I wanted to run like a race that I felt like was my race, and I think you know just really going out and hammering it was the way to go. And I feel like you know I was going to have like a little something extra, but you know this day Cole got the better of me. But I think it just shows how good our team's going to be going into Paris, honestly. Do you have did you have splits and a finishing time in mind today? Um, no. I knew it was going to be probably faster than the last semifinal, but I didn't think like 3:30 of all things. It's still. Like pretty close to my PR, honestly. So, um, but you know, I just, I don't know. I'm still in a really like good position with my fitness, and you know, I'm not going to doubt that just because I got second today. And um, yeah. What, what so, were you thinking in the, over the last lap? At last lap, I was like, just thinking, like, gotta keep grinding, keep pushing even more and more. And then, you know, Cole passed me, but I still felt like confident enough that I could get him back. But you know, it wasn't the case today. So, this is what it is. But still. Is it windy? Huh? Was it windy? Um, like got a little, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> not too windy, but you know. Do you think that strategy was a bit safer for you making the team, but might have set hurt your chances of winning the race? Um, I think it was it was definitely safer. I don't I don't I didn't feel like it was gonna hurt my chances that much. You know, like leading a race like that is always like really hard, but I still felt like very confident in. Um, my fitness and my ability to just like keep on pressing even after maintaining a pace that hard um, and so you know even if it was like not I wasn't really able to like pull it with the win I still think like that was also like my best chance to win so yeah I mean you've been in Prefontaine obviously was fast this was you know very fast what do you think is going to kind of unfold when we actually get to Paris I, I'm sure it's going to be like just as fast, in, well, I mean not just as fast, but like probably still very fast in Paris. I think um, just like the level that everyone's at right now, there's going to be people who really want to press it and um, no one's really just going to let it like slag and just like, you know, come down to a kick. But if it does, I'll be ready for that too. So, you know, I'm ready for whatever's coming in Paris. You signing the, uh, the goose hats, just what's it been like getting the love from the hill crowd? Yeah, yeah, I think the support from everyone has been amazing, I think, these last couple of years. Um, it's been really awesome just to see, like, more people being into just, like, I don't know, wanting to say hi to me. <laughs> I think I got this little tortoise, it's very cute. Um, and just, like, yeah, the support from the crowd has been really amazing and just really part of what's making the Olympic trial so special for me. Does it have sunk in you're going to the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say so, yeah. I think, like, that... Victory Lab gives me a lot of time to think about it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think, you know, it's going to happen. And we're going to do great things in Paris. I'm sure this U.S. team is, like, probably one of the best we've sent in a long time. So I have no doubt that, you know, like, multiple of us are going to make the final for sure. You know, you made the team last time and then didn't get to run in Tokyo. I, I know that was a weird experience for you. That, that way on you, did you reflect on it all in the build-up to this? Not, not in the build to this, no. I think, like, I've, I'm so much more confident than I was um, those years ago. And just, like, you know, I mean, that injury was kind of random, but so it could happen, but knock on wood, it won't. Uh, so I'm, I'm really confident in what I've been doing, and I feel like I'm going to be able to just, like, really race well in Paris because I've just been planning a lot more for racing in Paris versus just, like, racing for the trials, you know? So, yeah. Is that a different approach from last year, then? Uh, last year... Well, I was doing pretty well last year too, but I think like going into last year it was like I still had to do really well at USA's and I was able to do that and then like kind of like continue playing for World versus now we're like kind of peaking for Paris somewhat. So a little different, but mostly the same. Will you run the 5K here? <laughs> I'm not running the 5K. <laughs> What's the goal for Paris? Uh, I feel like the goal is to win, like always win. I feel like it's just, um, I've been wanting to like aim higher and then just like, you know, seeing where I land and if I achieve it then yeah, but I know, like, I know I'm really fit, and even if I wasn't able to win today, I know, like, in Paris, I'm gonna be ready for whatever comes my way there. So, I'm just, uh, just gonna go for it. I feel like it's all you can really do. So, what do you, what do you think, coach is gonna tell you about after this race? Ah, uh, good question. I mean, I feel like I did as well as I could have. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I'm not 
actually don't know. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> I'll be like, good job first. So, yeah. <laughs> what did you think on Cole Posture? I thought I, I, thought I really had like more to, in the tank to kind of like really chase him down a little bit. Um, kind of exactly what happened to me last year when I said I wasn't going to let that happen again. And I did. But I was still just like, I still felt like I had a decent amount left to really like, you know, keep pressing it and like catch him. But um, yeah, wasn't the case. This was the first. Oh. Like, that he went there with kind of like 250 to go. Did that surprise you? No, I mean, like, I figured, like, someone would. I just thought I'd be able to, like, hold him off a little better. That's what surprised me, I guess, so, yeah. but yeah. And does it, like, irritate you that you didn't win or not really? Like, do you just move on? It's, uh, it's a little disappointing. Maybe not irritating, but, like, because I, I really did feel like I could have won this, and so I know the U.S. is really good, but, um, you know, I still, like, not to not come in with the win kind of sucks, but I know, like, I'm not going to let this, like, stop what I'm doing and, like, really like kind of use this to kind of fuel my um races in paris so yeah you were spotted at the amazon pool yesterday aqua jogging yeah. with the ladies in the straw hats <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is part of your routine like aqua or... jogging was like a recovery thing with all the races i don't normally aqua jog like okay. ever but you know it is like <laughs> you just tried it at the olympic trials for the first time I mean, it wouldn't hurt, you know. Jason's like, ah, you know, get in the pool. The pool's good for you. So I was like, it was like 10 minutes. I wasn't like actually aqua jogging. <laughs> How do you like the attention? You were just talking about like slimy hats and all that. I mean, do you do you like a lot of the attention? No, but like it's, it's still flattering. I, I think it's like, it's very sweet when, you know, just seeing like people who are like so excited to see me. I don't want to like deny them that, even if I'd rather just like walk through it and just go sleep or something <laughs> but it's just awesome to have such a supportive crowd so i got to get back to them you know who gave you the title is that an homage to your pet yes it is i don't know who i kind of forgot a lot of people <laughs> in the victory lap but someone i didn't really know but it was very cute and i had to have it because i don't have a tortoise plush turns out so yeah <laughs> All right,